The city of Taylor, Texas is going to be under construction for a little while. The Biden administration has granted electronics giant Samsung $6.4 billion to expand chip making. And the central Texas town, 35 miles north of Austin, will be home to at least four new facilities. One of those facilities will stretch 4,000 feet. That's the length of 11 football fields. The plants will be dedicated to chip research, packaging, and manufacturing. The chips will be used in aerospace, defense, and auto industries as America races to become more independent in the most valuable commodity of the electronic age. For more on the impact of these investments, we are joined by Sujay Shivukumar. He is director and senior fellow for the Center for Strategic and International Studies Renewing American Innovation Project. Thank you so much for being with us. Let's uh, step back. Remind us again why domestic production of chips is such an important priority for America. Well, you know, chips are the enabling technology of our age. If you think about our cell phones, the television on which our monitor on which we're watching this, the cars that we drive, uh, you know, our airline systems, our banking systems, they all depend on uh, these uh, semiconductor chips. So we do need to lead in these chips in terms of the technology, in terms of manufacturing, if we are to be competitive and also to maintain our national security edge. And these chips that Samsung uh, are going to make at these plants, how advanced are they? Are they super advanced and that's what, or are they sort of middling chips, but we just need lots and lots of them for the technologies of the future? Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, Samsung is, I think, producing both leading edge chips as well as so-called, uh, you know, uh, legacy chips or foundational chips. And, uh, you know, both are actually important for both our competitiveness and our uh, innovative, innovative potential. Uh, you know, the, uh, you remember that the, uh, you know, the power chips that are go into a Ford truck are what stopped the production of, of trucks during the pandemic. And that had major implications, not only for the auto industry, but also for lots of downstream industries. So when you say, you know, uh, we'll talk about leading, uh, leading edge chips, which is what many people think about in terms of the most advanced, uh, you know, a, a whole spectrum of these chips are actually pretty vital for not only our, our uh, defense industries, but also for all the variety of civilian industries. And Sujay, the, the Commerce Department says that Samsung's Texas plant will create 17,000 construction jobs, 4,500 manufacturing jobs. Um, I got two questions. What goes into um, training a workforce for this kind of plant? And don't these plants take a long time to build um, because chip manufacturing is such a sensitive process? Yeah, so they do take a long time. And in fact, uh, you know, but... Uh, these uh, semiconductor companies are highly motivated and incentivized to build them as soon as possible. Actually, one issue that is actually a, uh, uh, you know, could slow down things is actually the permitting issue. You know, we've been offshoring our manufacturing for many decades now, and uh, we are learning how to actually renew our permitting processes, learning, our, learning how to revise our workforce training processes. Uh, to basically come up to stream and to become competitive on a world stage again. Uh, we had, you know, uh, basically been off the switch for a long time, and uh, a lot of these issues are now uh, front and center. So if we are to renew our manufacturing uh, capabilities, which is front and center for any vibrant uh, world-leading innovation system, uh, we have to take care of all of these issues. And because we have now uh, focused on rebuilding our, our semiconductor industry, uh, a lot of these broader issues are also coming to the fore. Let me linger on that question of permitting with you for a second, um, because this comes up a lot in, in discussions of industrial policy and America catching up. Is it essentially permits to just do all of the building that's necessary to get there and just how long that takes? Is it is it analogous to when you try and build a house and you just have to wait for the permits to get the house built? Is that what we're talking about here? Essentially, yes. Uh, you know, the, there are environmental permits that have to be conducted. So, uh, in most cases, these are state and local permitting issues. Uh, but because uh, Chips and Science is a federal program, there are federal dollars involved. So, then a 1970s era uh, National Environmental Protection Act uh, law kicks in, and that's adding additional complications to the, uh, you know, the, uh, the the construction process. So if you know if for every year that's uh, delayed, that's another year for the for the Chinese to catch up, 
and it's another billion dollars, you know, in, in costs and uh, in uh, you know, in construction. So we we really do need to have all of these things streamlined as quickly as possible. Sujay Shivakumar, director and senior fellow for the Renewing American Innovation Project. Thank you so much.